So I made a video recently about my new keyboard, the keyboard that's on my desk right now. And it's from this company, ASIO. I've been loving using it. This one is called the MK Retro. I've actually got a couple of them here. There's three total. And it's a typewriter style mechanical keyboard. And you can see from the graphic here, it's got these circular keycaps. It's a completely different concept. Clickety clack, it's like a typewriter. Is it better? I don't know. First off, what does it say? A nostalgic classic. Reborn with modern innovations fit for composing literary masterpieces. Introducing the ASIO MK Retro, a typewriter inspired mechanical keyboard. Okay, cool, we got it. Do you think you can handle that? Handcrafted round keycaps with clicky mechanical switches. This one specifically is for Windows 7, 8, 10 Vista. If you're holding on. What are you creeping around over there, Tom? I see you tiptoeing over there, brother. Wore his best shirt today. Let's let's open the box. That's what you're here for. That's what I'm here for. That's what we're all here for. Ooh! Look at this. Look at this. This is how you'll write your masterpiece right here. You get this, you become Ernest Hemingway. Did you know that, Jack? That's all it takes. You're distracting me. That's interesting, look at that. I pulled off one of the keycaps accidentally, but that's kind of cool. Jack can get in there and show you what the switch looks like. Apparently these are modified blue key switches. Look at this. Okay, so they're clacky. These are those old school clacky keycaps. Clickety clackety. Considering the fact that they're circular and unusual, I'm surprised at how even with my There's also some function keys, play, pause, multimedia. This I like. Look at that. That is a really cool implementation for elevating the back. Twist this and it, they pop up or down. See? Very nice. They give you wrist pad. You put that baby down there and, and then what? I'll come back and get you in 10 years. Never mind Ernest Hemingway. You're gonna be like Rip Van Winkle. Do you know who Rip Van Winkle is? His name was Rip. Ben Winkle. He falls asleep under the tree. He wakes up. He's been sleeping for what? How many years? Like 50 years. The world has changed. He's got the beard. Well, maybe you're not snoozing. Maybe you're hacking out your masterpiece. But either way, the beard is growing. I'll come back and get you later because you got the wrist pad. Now you're comfy. I mean it this time, Mr. Vanderdonk. I've got a good crop for the first time since Rob. <laughs> for the first time since Rob. <laughs> for the first time since Rob. <laughs> what are you rage, Van Winkle? <laughs> All right, but this is not the only one they make. This one is the exact same, but in white. Look at this. I know some people that are really going to be down with something like that. Holy smokes. With the gold trim around the outside. Otherwise, it's completely identical. I mean, it's white on the bottom has a white cable. Now the next one is actually a little different. An upgraded version, classic edition Armato, and this one is backlit. Embodies simplicity, purity, and boldness. And what are you doing here? Ooh, I think I like this one the best. Ooh. I like this brushed look around the outside. This volume wheel over here, look at that. I'm sure you could probably configure it for whatever. These dedicated multimedia keys, I like having them in this section over here. These keys are added as well over here, so pretty solid as far as like plastic flip out feet go. Not as nice as those feet though, I will say. Wow, look at that, elegantly fierce. That's actually the way I like to describe Jack right there. He is both elegant and fierce. This one will go here and you get the idea. A keycap remover. Did the other ones include that? No. Ooh, it does a little dance. Just to let you know it's booting up. And whoa. It lights up where you tap. That's a cool mode. I haven't seen that before. Unbox therapy. Whoa. Check this out. So I can hand select the buttons that I want to glow. Kind of lights up around the keycap as opposed to through it. You can see here, this is like a kind of glowing, pulsating situation. This one is the whole board. 
So the thing about any of these keyboards, they're obviously unorthodox, they're a throwback. The main consideration here is definitely style. You are stepping out of the usual design for a mechanical keyboard. Whatever suits your personal style, you wanna kick it old school. Which one would it be for you? Which one is tickling your fancy, so or tickling your fingertips? See what I did with the keyboard thing and... Rob!